Hey y'all, welcome to Little Bucket Fishing. I'm Nick and it's currently three o'clock in the morning on Saturday, Sunday. It's Sunday. Uh, today I'm gonna be going to the pier with my girlfriend and then we got a buddy that's gonna be meeting us out there later. Um, first things first, we're gonna go for some kingfish and then we're gonna try to go for some bait fish for shark fishing later next weekend. Um, and then redfish fishing, uh, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for stopping in. Um, if you do enjoy it and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it too. So let's get into the fishing. Oh, there's a fish. Bink. Yep. Oh, he too. Do what? Where you let it, the fish go? What I do? What? I said, where you let it go? It was a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it. <laughs> Babe, Mister First Fish. It was a lady fish, but that's good bait. Well, we're just out here catching a couple of lady fish for bait, for our shark bait, and for our uh, redfish bait here. Dang it! This guy's about to take my spot too. There's one. This is Lady Fish hookup number five, I think. No! Dang it! We've only landed one. Get it right up in the surf. Bring her in. Woo! Lady Fish for days. If you guys got kids that want to get into fishing or you want to get your kids into fishing, lady fish is the way to go. <sighs> lady fish. Lady fish. Try to get Heather on one. She hasn't really caught fish since she's been here. She's caught a couple catfish. But that don't count, right? We got all these LY down here. So many LY just right here. And then we got a big bait ball over there of LY too. The lady fish are putting, pushing LY up on the beach. That's what I'm actually casting into. Always bring a towel with you when you're fishing. As the fish blood gets every. All right guys, so we're using cut up pieces of mullet and like a five, seven aught hook somewhere in there. And then you know, we're just going through it like that there. To our weight over here, casting out and waiting. Oh, what the heck? My, I got a blue fish on and I got something messing with my mullet. Bluefish. This is a bluefish. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I need you to get the net ready. The net ready. We got a red drum. We don't want to let him run away from the pier. Run away from the pier, buddy. Oh, move, 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 move. Dang 
Get that thing in the water. You're good, I'll bring him to you here in a second. Big old red drum. And there's a trash can in my way. And I'll let you know when. Now pull, 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 pull. Atta girl. Woo! Yep, here you wanna switch me? Okay, I take the pull. Morning, red drum on the pier. And a bluefish laying over there, popping around. Yeah. <laughs> and we got shark bait for days. Not because of the red drum. This bad boy's gone back. Oh my dear lord! It came out of his mouth and then into the side of his mouth. Woo! Alrighty, y'all. So we just caught this beautiful beast on the pier and using a uh, dead mullet, a uh, big, big mullet. I uh, cut it, cut the mullet in half, stuck the hook through its head, casted it out there and it was out there for 10 minutes. And this big boy came along and uh, we're about to measure it up, take a picture. All righty, so we go to nose. All the way down, pinch the tail. Oh, no, I knew it was over. 35 and a half. It's a nice, nice little guy here. All right, guys. So we're out here, Pensacola Pier this morning, me and my girlfriend. Um, we've actually got a buddy that's gonna be coming meeting us out here. Uh, should be any minute, but kind of sucks. Was hoping to catch a fish when he got here, but we'll, we'll try to get it again. Anyways. This is nice 36 and a half, 35 and a half, one of the two redfish that I just caught. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the net, get it back in the water, get a good release on it, and get into the next one. I know, big boy, we're going back. And there he goes. Bye bye little red fish. When he goes on that side of the pylon over here, you're gonna wanna run down here. Here, get on, get here in the middle and then try to pull him away from that pylon. I'm gonna tighten the drag a little bit. Oh, maybe not. All right. Oh! Yep, he got around that middle pylon. He gone. Yep. Oh, it broke, broke. Yeah, everything gone. That was a big one though. Yeah, it was. Those are the, those are the fun ones. <laughs> Here, I'll hook I'm not one. used to the whole, uh, this side. Yeah. <laughs> Reeling. Yeah. I'm used to Oh, this side, the other so. side? I got you. I can switch it. Man, that is a lot. What? Bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was probably a 40 plus, 40 plus entry. Yeah, those those 40 plusers, they they don't really care about you. <laughs> they go where they they go where they want. Are you serious? Already? Yeah. Something messing with it at least. Yep. yep. You want it? Uh, I don't care, move the pole. No, he let go. 
Ah, uh, gotta let him take it. Just casting right there off the, off the pier, whatever we're fishing on. So we just missed another one. Um, broke off again. Took off straight under the pylons. Wrapped around a pylon, broke off. I was changing my GoPro battery and my memory card, of course, so I missed it. Boy, he's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's way too big. 18 to 27. Yeah, okay, here, Andy, look at that. Oh, my. That is a nice one. That's the biggest run I've ever even seen. <laughs> I know they get a hundred pounds, but... Yeah. You know what this is? A live pin fish. It's their favorite. Favorite for the pier. Hey, Danny. All right, I'm going to try and work it over here. Hey, Danny, grab that pole. Oh, there he goes. He's done. He did. Uh, yep, yeah, live pinfish. Oh, a little too heavy for you to hold. <laughs> huh? Fish. He's a really big fish. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, one second. You can touch him. It won't hurt you. He's so slimy. Wow, he's bleeding. Yeah. He got hurt. Um, and I got yeah. Come on, Sean. It's just the weight is a pain in the butt. It's still moving. Help me out here. It's not a keeper. It's moving. Yep, 30 ish. You want to pinch his tail? Yeah. What's the slot? 27. Okay. Ooh, 31. Yep, 27. It's got to be under 27. Yeah. Look at me. Look at her. Look at her. She's going to take a picture. <laughs> look it. Hey. Look it, look it. Say cheese. All right, Ernie, do you want to hold it? Yeah, <laughs> All right, go ahead and hold it. Wow. All right. Here, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Say cheese. Look it. Good yeah, right. job. Let's, uh, can we, yeah. All right, get out of the net, buddy. All right. Cheese. Out of the net. Yeah, he, he will. As soon as, that, as soon as that water hits his gill, He'll uh, wake back up. Maybe. It's a better release tactic than dropping them. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just brutal. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Is this yours? Or yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Oh. Yeah, those live pinfish and then dead mullet are their favorite baits. I'm just glad my, my $30 pole held together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So as always, that is the end of our video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun out there today. Um, so I guess it's time for me to go do some editing. If you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. Got any questions, comments, concerns, comment section below. I will get back to you guys on those comments. And uh, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future content. Uh, I guess until next week.